This is going to be your weekly chakra energy check-in. If it's meant for you, it's meant for you. We're going to take a look at the energies you may be experiencing throughout your chakras. So in the comments, please let me know your zodiac sign and your word of the day. You know, it's funny. I just tried to film this video a second ago and my camera was glitching. I don't know about you, but this has been quite an odd morning so far or day so far, whatever you want to call it. Um... Hmm. And as I was seeing the, the, the I can't even talk, the camera, the, the camera glitch, <laughs> um, I was talking about how today is apparently a significant day astrologically or energetically, October 22nd. Now, interestingly enough, you may have heard me talk about this day uh, last week. Uh, I had a very vivid dream about my journey, twin flame journey, sparking journey, whatever you want to call it where I was having a conversation and I was told, see you on Tuesday. And I, at that time, I was like, I don't know what's happening on Tuesday. What's Tuesday? Tuesday's the 22nd. What could be on the 22nd? Next thing you know, I start seeing all these posts and videos about how this is a love portal. So I'm just having a very interesting vibe today, trying to film this video or go about my day. So instead of doing the chakra reading tomorrow on Wednesday, which is what I've been doing lately, I said, no, I got to sit down today and figure this out. There's something in the air. Now, let's take a look at some overall themes and messages for this reading. I picked lovey cards for the overall messages. Transition. Look at this butterfly. Looking for a change. Relationship status shifts. Hmm. Travel, move, and level up. I believe it. You know, we are right into Scorpio season and it's going to be intense. You know, I know that word is always used, but Scorpio energy really embodies the butterfly because the caterpillar goes into the cocoon, right? Having basically a dark night of the soul, thinking that everything's, you know, done and over. And yet there's this emergence of a beautiful butterfly. And we are looking for change, even though it can be difficult and frustrating and emotional. Interesting that it says relationship status shifts um, because this seems to be quite the lovey day. Now, let's take another card here and see what else we need to know. And we have a higher view. Look at that owl. Wisdom and knowledge. And by the way, four plus one is five. Big changes ahead. Looking for a change. Shift. A higher view, a bird's eye view. I feel like you're going to get some perspective that you weren't anticipating. Something will come through. Let's see what else we need to know. The star. Your hope and optimism are a powerful love magnet for you right now. Very interesting, you know, because I'm a real big believer in optimism. And I mean, that could be my Sagittarius rising. Um... I'm a very optimistic person. I'm wired this way. I know sometimes that uh, people might say, how can you wake up so positive every day? Or how can you be so optimistic? I really genuinely am because I always believe that every day is a new day and that everything will be okay. And we've always got to make moves. We've always got to work on our healing and learning. You know, we're lifelong learners. That's the cheesy teacher in me. And the star is about blessings. We are blessed. I mean, I can ask you guys right now, what do you feel blessed about today? What's something you can say that you really, really feel blessed with, you know? And I know I'll always say that I'm blessed to have all of you watching my videos and, you know, being a part of my online family. So thank you for that. I'm blessed that I've been through this journey, that I've learned this knowledge, that I can share it. I feel like I'm having like a little mini Thanksgiving here. We did just have Canadian Thanksgiving last weekend. Um, but anyways, yeah, I just, I feel very blessed. But there's definitely something shifting right now. And I can't wait to see what's in these cards. Let's take a look at the Chakra Wisdom Tarot, which is a deck that has all the different colors of the chakras or energy centers in the body. So we're going to start with our root chakra, which is all about our foundation or our base. The Wheel of Fortune, things are shifting. See? You can see it already. Um, it's shifting. There's growth. There's expansion. There's good luck. That is Sagittarius energy. Venus has moved into Sagittarius, which means a much better feeling in regards to love. And to clarify that, we have the falcon rising above. Look at this imagery of the birds. The eagle, the owl, rising above. 
a transition. There you go. There's a, a doubling of the word here. Third eye, higher self. <laughs> Please excuse those noises in the background. I think there's actually a couple things going on outside. Somebody who's washing windows um, for my neighbor and somebody's doing some gardening. So we definitely hear some some action going on right when I'm wanting to discuss this topic. But hey, that's okay. That's okay. Um, many of you thought it might be the frother. If you know the joke, you know. Um, the gavel. Okay, so conviction, decisions made, pay attention, offer accepted, legal matters. Hmm. Very interesting energy. Very, very interesting energy. Okay. I think there's going to be a decision of some kind or some news or some sort of judgment. And by the way, there's the Sagittarius energy right there. So we're getting very strong Sagittarius energy. Now let's see what's going on in the sacral chakra, which is Venus. Talk about timing. Talk about timing for this machine. But okay. All right. So Venus, sacral chakra, self-worth, self-value, self-respect. Somebody's been wearing a mask in that department. And there's been a fear of moving on. There's been a fear of being authentic or revealing some deep feelings, possibly. Let's see what else we need to know. The Wolverine. Yeah, somebody's been in a power struggle. Should I? Shouldn't I? Can I have this? Can I really have this? Now, I see a card that's like flipped over and look, it's yes, the time has come. Yes, the time. I'm going to put that right there just for kicks. Um, there's the answer. I mean, if someone's in a power struggle right now, believing that they can have it, you know, or disbelieving that they can have it, of course you can. Why can't you? Again, that's the optimist in me. Your hope and optimism are a powerful love magnet for you right now. It's, it's attractive to be positive. Let's see. Dear John, someone's got to say goodbye to the past. I don't know if there's a John um, that you need to say goodbye to or you are this person named John, but um, this is cutting cords. Something's not working. Whatever's not working anymore, it's got to go. I'll take a second card just because there's two on the other side. We'll be easy. Love, the flamingos, soulmates, lovers, union. Interesting, interesting. This could be a relationship you're letting go of. This could also you saying goodbye to an old story so that you can allow love in. You know, I've been saying that in a lot of my readings this past week. Let love in. It's time to let love in. And that doesn't have to be necessarily in the way in which you imagine it to be. It could be something totally different. It could be someone new that comes along. How do you know it's not the best thing that ever happened to you? You know, you've got to go towards something that serves you. If you're getting someone who's hot and cold and breadcrumbing and can't give and no capacity, well, then you have to ask yourself, is that attractive to you? You know? So let's take a look at um, the solar plexus, which is our personal power. The nine of coins, C, feeling good in your own skin, gaining your power. It's also orange, which is Venus, the sacral chakra, self-worth, self-value, self-respect. Feeling good in your own skin. This is all about strutting your stuff. You deserve it. It can be a card of being single, and that's okay if you are, but it means you're a beacon of light. It means you're attracting. You get to choose. Remember, you choose. Stay calm, cool, collected. Don't let anything ruffle your feathers right now or get you going, push your buttons, poke the bear, whatever the expression. See, everything is very likely. This kind of reminds me of the pictures that I've been taking lately of my Zen place or one of my Zen places, which is a trail locally here where it almost looks like all these trees, you know, um, around this portal. And look at the portal. Funny, we're talking about 1022 kind of being a love portal. Well, there you go, very likely. Very interesting. Okay, let's take a look at, I believe we are at the heart chakra. What do we need to know about matters of the heart? There you go, matters of the heart, the green card right here. Uh, Princess of Coins. This is all about studying and learning, but guess what? It's also an offer of recognition. Wow. There could be an offer coming in here when you're in good energy. Oh boy, huh. I say it with a little bit of like 
apprehension, maybe a little bit of nervousness, but also excitement. Look, the Milky Way is a card of social media. Just be careful you're not engaging in any kind of song and dance on social media, right? With someone running and chasing. But it could be that somebody reaches out on social media that you didn't expect or you didn't anticipate. And let's see. Oh, so, <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Uh, declaration. Declaration. Someone is reclaiming their power. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, here's two sides to this. You are the one who gets to choose. If somebody reaches out to you, do not lean in. Do not all of a sudden go rushing back to old ways just because we're in excitement of a message or a conversation. Stay true to yourself. But I do think someone may declare something. We're going to find out. <laughs> Let's take a look at the throat chakra. What are we talking about today? What's going on? Oh, the fool, a new beginning, trusting, taking a leap of faith. Well, 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 well. Okay. The fish, abundance. This could be Pisces energy. But this is really abundant energy. What else do we need to know? 50-50. At this time, things could go either way. They could, and either way, you'll be okay. That's what I want you to understand, that yes, things are very likely to shift, but just because somebody comes in doesn't mean they come correct. It could go either way. It actually really depends on you, how you handle it. What's your perspective? You know, have you changed? Are you demonstrating, you know, a difference in the way you handle things? Are you in the old, are you in the new, right? I mean, the way I used to handle things, I wouldn't do now. Absolutely not. I've been through a lot. I've learned. I'm not going around that, you know, circle anymore. I'm not in that hamster wheel. I'm not on that roller coaster. Uh, I'm going to do things differently. And so it depends on where you're at. But, you know, take it seriously. Take yourself seriously. Let's see what's going on in the third eye. Intuition. Ooh, two of cups. Okay. Now, I've been talking a lot about the 212 lately. We all want two cups, right? We all want the relationship. We want everybody to come correct, but then we forget that in order to have two cups, you gotta have one cup first. So there's no two cups without one cup. So you've gotta fill your cup, get that two of cups, and then uh, things will align. So we start with two wanting two. We gotta go back to one, back to the drawing board to fulfill ourselves, and then boom, we get the two of cups, and that equals five. Big changes ahead. Big changes ahead. Magnifying glass. You're gonna get some clarity. Clarity in the third eye. <laughs> Things are changing. Number five, you can't make it up. Mm-hmm. Things are shifting, and I think they're shifting for the better. All right, let's take a look at the crown chakra. Oh, I think that was a little honk outside as a confirmation. So much going on in my street today. All right, let's see. Crown chakra. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, two of swords. You have a decision to make. Are you in the old? Are you in the new? Two, two could be an angel number you're seeing. Twos are all about partnerships. You know, not that I want to look at the bottom of the deck, but eight of wands is communication, manifestation, shooting your shot. Sagittarius energy also, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look. Don't try to control the outcome. If you were in the old energy, you'd be trying to control the, the outcome. If you're in the new, you won't be. There you go. Mental force, spiritual insight, hope and faith, wise judgment. Absolutely. Divine favor. It's coming. Wow. Oh, there. <laughs> like I said, all these noises. Very, very interesting. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a couple oracle cards here just to see what else we need to know. Kingdom, earth, manifestation, being here and now, be in the present moment. Stay grounded. 
you're manifesting. Let it unfold. The element of air, thoughts, mind, and communication. Oh, there's communication coming in of some kind. Okay, please let me know if this resonates. Um, this energy is very intense today. As always, I appreciate your likes, your comments, your subscribes. It really means the world to me and helps people find my videos. If you'd like to do a personal reading with me, the link is in my bio. Thank you very much, and I wish you an amazing day.